break, 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 break. Just in time. Sorry. Fuck that one. I actually am proud of what I did. So what was that? Your you're proud. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to another video. For those of you that don't know, my name's Pin. I'm a driving instructor at DJ and Driving School. And here today we have another totally random learner who I've never met and is here for a mock test to find out whether they're going to be ready for their actual driving test or not. And any of you that do want to take part in one of these mock tests, all you need to do is drop us a message on Instagram at DJ and Driving and we just select people randomly. Yeah. Right then, so um, learner driver, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, my name's Manel. Um, I do a bit of TikTok, YouTube, social media, all of that stuff. Um, I've been driving, well, I passed my theory test in like January, February. Okay. For like the third time. <laughs> um, first two times I didn't get enough time. Um, third time, I managed to pass it. Um, and yeah, I did like some, I started my lessons in at March, in March, okay, like so February, March. So. Okay, so it hasn't been too long then, has it? Mm, not too long, but beforehand when I was like 18, 19, I did do some lessons okay. prior, but I stopped because I went to university and I was studying at cool. college and stuff like that. So, um, but now that I just kind of really need my license. So. Cool. So, yeah. um, um. Manel, would you say there's any areas in your driving which you feel are you're not 100% on or would that scare you? Oh yeah, I've got a lot of work to do and development to improve on. Um, I'd say, I would say right now would be my parking because we've just started doing those type of manoeuvres. Okay. Um, I started about last week actually, but I did do a bit of reversing and then reversing around the corner and reversing about two car lengths, four trees, as they say. Um... I okay. could say mainly sometimes it's the hill start that that sometimes I can well I was there, I have to yeah that's a that's a common thing that yeah. many learners uh, struggle on yeah right, but I'm, so yeah. maneuvers wise you mentioned that you started on the other week here so yeah. have you done the reverse parking yet reverse parallel parking I haven't done parallel parking yet have you done reverse bay parking no I done forward bay parking i've done reverse to car limps okay. backwards and reverse around a corner cool have you carried out the emergency stop yet yeah you have yeah okay cool that. so um obviously the two maneuvers that you haven't covered i won't make you do them because yeah. obviously you're going to struggle if you haven't done them yet yeah but okay. obviously you know you have to cover them before you test and um have you been through the show me tell me questions um yeah revising them online yeah. okay cool so um you know how the uh, mock test work you've been watching the videos haven't you yeah um yeah okay so if you do make a fault i won't say anything we'll talk about the faults at the end of the test yeah mm -hmm. okay and um, for those of you who are watching um if manel does make a fault um i will talk about them just before they happen any serious faults will be in red text any normal driving faults in amber text any questions before we start mm, no are you feeling okay <laughs> <laughs> right so um yeah the tell me question yeah Manel starts off with a driving fault for the tell me question. He doesn't get it quite right. So, <laughs> could you tell me how you would check your head restraint is adjusted correctly? Um, it's between your eyes and making sure it's between your eye, eye the depth of your eyes and your head. Um, and make it, well, making sure it's adjusted correctly um, between like the eye, <laughs> between the eye depths of your eyes and your head and making sure it's like comfortable okay yeah. not bad just just one important part you you miss so you're saying level with your eyes which yeah. is good yeah don't forget to mention which part of the head restraint is level with your eyes mm -hmm. which part the, the this part right here the, the, the top of it the top of it yeah no uh, so I was going to give it to you first, but uh, not now. Yet. <laughs> okay, really right. So it's normally the thick part. The, that's the centre part. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That okay. should be level with your eyes. Yeah. Which okay. which it is. Right then. So um, yeah. Just to let you know, that's a minor fault you started off with. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. I'm getting a bit of Right. So um, remember, don't panic if you do get the answer wrong at the start of your test. Yeah, it happens with nerves. Sometimes you can forget it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It doesn't mean you you failed your test. Okay. okay? Now show us a good drive, hopefully. Okay. okay. To make up for that. <laughs> <laughs> right. So uh, move off uh, whenever you're ready, please, or not. And um, 
Guys, what we're going to do is we're not going to be following the sat nav uh, as I've been doing uh, uh, a lot of recently, not following the sat nav because I find a lot of learners are struggling with um, following the signs. So, um, have you done following the si signs or sat nav yet? Um, not really, no. Um, but my instructor, he like tells me where to go. <laughs> so, see, I'm like, that, that's fine. Uh, see, that's the next stage, yeah like driving without your instructor telling you what's coming up uh. yeah either start the sat nav well normally say lean out to follow signs for yeah we'll, we'll see what that's like today anyway yeah yeah that's called the independent driving yeah so yeah whenever you're ready manel move off please he carries out good all-round observations before moving off so you know every time you ask for help <laughs> yeah <laughs> okay unless we're in a dangerous situation you won't really get a reply from me okay okay because we're treating you like a mock test yeah yeah i'm not being mean it's just like mm -hmm. that's all point of a mock test yeah At the end of the road, if you could turn left, please. At this junction, when Manel decides to emerge out, there is a white vehicle approaching. Manel is quite slow in building up his speed, so does slow that vehicle down. Affecting the speed of another vehicle and making them slow down would be a serious fault on the driving test. Traffic lights, turn right please. Okay. On the approach to these traffic lights, he selects first gear instead of the appropriate gear which would have been second. This causes us to slow down suddenly. As he moves over to the left lane here, he should have checked the left mirror but doesn't. A steady amber traffic light means stop if it's safe to do so. We are approaching the lights at a good speed, which is not too fast, and have plenty of time to stop safely when the lights change to amber. Manel isn't about to stop, so I have to step in. Break, break, break. Break. Just in time. Sorry. <laughs> he selects first gear and takes his foot off the clutch pedal, so the car stalls. He does take a bit of time to work out that the engine is off. You okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I, I, I thought we were going to get going. So I hope I didn't fail. <laughs> Is it on? No. Oh. Hello, my name is Olivia and I'm from Farnham. I first found out about DGN's driving course from my brother, like me, passed first time and really recommends the course. I've now been driving for a month and a half and it's so convenient being able to drive to college and just have that freedom there. If you are as eager as I was to pass, I would definitely recommend using this course to pass first time. 38 easy to understand, precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based, they are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the manoeuvres and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge, or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something, or you're just not grasping a certain topic, then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons, which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons.
When asked him to park up, Manel signals straight away. He should have waited to pass the road that was on our left. You could park up anywhere safe, please. Thank you. Mm-hmm. And move off when you're ready. <clears throat> His observations are good, but the right blind spot check was slightly late. He checks it just after moving off. Get away for this car to go. Third exit and then left first exit. Yeah. My right third exit, left third. Left first exit. Okay. This first roundabout he enters well, but after entering he stays in first gear all the way round. He should have selected second. I did tell him earlier that at the second roundabout we would be turning left. He forgets, so I did tell him again, but Manel still ends up in the wrong lane. Now the lane that he is in is for straight ahead only, so he should have continued straight ahead. Going the wrong way would not be classed as a driving fault, but he decides to turn left. Turning left here. Oh, left here. Okay. Is it the second exit? It's the first one. Oh, the first one. speed on this carriageway is 40 miles per hour. Manel doesn't notice this until later on, so he's driving a bit slow. Oh, this is a 40. Okay. As we wait at these lights, Manel gives his thoughts so far. It's not too bad. <laughs> at this mini roundabout, turn right. The second exit. At this mini roundabout, there is a safe gap to go after the bus. You can tell from the positioning of the vehicles that they are not coming towards us. Monel hesitates and rolls back slightly. When moving off here, he rushes off the clutch, so stalls. Now there are quite a few serious faults coming up, 11 to be precise. Monel has entered this roundabout well and is sticking to the right hand lane. Now when he gets to the second exit, he should check the mirrors and move into the left hand lane which he does do, but well before that he drifts into the left lane slightly without checking any mirrors. This is one of those faults that the examiner may let you off with because there was no one around, but as many of you know, any of these faults that are 50-50 I will always mark as a serious fault just so that you guys are aware.
Winnell forgets to cancel the left signal. This was a serious fault because he left it on all the way up until the roundabout. He carries out good observations when joining the carriageway. I've asked him to follow signs to Dudley, which is right third exit at this roundabout. Manel isn't too sure which way Dudley is and approaches in the wrong lane. Again from this position, he should have just continued straight ahead, but as soon as he entered the roundabout, he cuts across to the right hand lane. Your signal. Oh, sir. Dudley. Which way is it? Oh. Which way is Dudley? Uh, it's a right seat exit. Okay. This time he does notice the signs but again selects a wrong lane. This lane is for turning left and again after entering the roundabout he cuts across lanes. Are we going at this round of it? No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Dudley was straight ahead, third exit, yeah? Okay, straight ahead, third, third exit. exit, okay. I'm in the wrong lane. No. Oh. This lane does go straight ahead as well. Okay. When moving off, he doesn't realise that the car is still in third gear, so he keeps stalling. I had to intervene. Oh, okay. Okay, you're in third gear, mate. Oh. Sorry, sorry. Why? <laughs> so I don't be more down than that. I know it's a zero. Um, it's all the lorry driver behind us that wasn't in a rush. Yeah. Sometimes when you're not like. It's not your car, but when you're like used to other like driving other cars and you forget, sometimes I forget. I was like, oh. After exiting this roundabout, again, Monel forgets to cancel his signal. I had to ask him to cancel it as there was a turning coming up. this roundabout, he approaches in the correct lane, which is the left-hand lane. So after entering the roundabout, he should keep to the left lane. But again, as soon as he enters the roundabout, he drifts into the middle lane and then back to the left. This is definitely something Manel needs to work on in his driving lessons. Oh, sorry. Dudley and Sedgley. Yeah. yeah. Is it Cosley or Sedley? Oh, Sedley, Sedley.
Be straight over, right? Yeah. That's the end of the sign following, yeah? Okay. Right. <laughs> now we're entering the car park, in which I'm going to ask him to do the forward bay parking manoeuvre. And if you could turn left into this car park, yeah. just here. Right, I could be partly blamed for this fault. I asked him to park in any bay to the right. And because he had told me at the start of the test that he has done this manoeuvre before, I assumed he knew that he had to park in the first set of bays and not go over the line that divides them. He goes over that line and into the next set of bays, which you're not allowed to do. And as you're driving, there's going to be some bays to our right. Oh, okay. So if you could park in any bay in the right, park forward yeah, into okay. any bay. Any bay, okay. okay. I'll use this back to my advantage. I'm <laughs> sorry. <laughs> the lady in the car next to us didn't look too impressed. Well. Okay. Yeah. Done? Yeah. Right, if you could um, just uh, drive her that way now, please. Okay. Okay? Yeah. End of the road, turn right please. When exiting the car park, Manel gets a bit confused and goes onto the opposite side of the road. Ready to the road, turn right. Okay, get back to the left hand okay. side. Oh, okay, 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 sorry. Yeah, my bad. Okay. Sorry, I'm like, oh, It's okay. I thought it was one of those one way where you had to. Yeah, <laughs> you could have done that. I thought it was one, but there was no markings on that inside. Here, there are two lanes that can both be used to turn right. Manel selects a right hand lane, which is fine. He should now stick to his lane and exit onto the right hand lane. But as we're turning around the bend, he drifts into the left hand lane without any mirror checks. Now I'm going to ask him the show me question, which he does correctly. Okay Manel, when it's safe to do so, could you show me how to open your window please? Yeah. Thank you. And close it. He notices the park car ahead, which is good, but again rushes for first gear when second would have been the better option. Another fault right at the end as we get to the test centre. He totally forgets to check the left before emerging out at this junction. Uh, just park up on the left please. That's the end of the test. Manel is a bit shocked when he finds out how many serious faults he had made. Okay, well, switch off uh, the engine, please. So that's the end of the test. Yeah. <laughs> look what happened. What's so funny? <laughs> look how look quite happy. <laughs> right. So how do you think you got on? <laughs> I think I did okay, but I did not pass it because I stood and I tried to not make any serious or dangerous faults, but I 
kept stalling. I think that's when quite new to a car and I do stall in my loudest colour as well um, sometimes <coughs> and it did cut out but then I got to know when I did stall and kind of rectify it. Um, I think my approach to roundabouts was okay. Um, still practicing, still got a lot of de to develop even with regards to parking and that front bay park. Um, I actually am proud of what I did. <laughs> so what was that? You're, you're proud? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I thought I did that okay. But then, past it. Okay, cool. So, uh, you're, you understand that you didn't pass, but you're kind of happy how it went overall. Yeah. Is that what you're saying, yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you were kind of proud of your driving. Um, your main issue was roundabouts. Um, you know what I mean? You follow the signs. Mm. Like you said, you haven't done much of that before, yeah. And mm. that's why I'm I'm doing that morning mock test because I feel it's something... I don't know if instructors are missing it, missing it and just jumping straight into the sat-nav. Yeah, but for looking out for signs early on is a big part of driving. It keeps uh -huh. you safe as well. Yeah. Yeah. So you know what's coming up ahead. But um, I think every time you saw a sign and or if you hear third exit, yeah. yeah. Which direction you assume that is? The third one. Yeah, which direction? Left, straight or right? Um, right. Yeah, it's not always right. Oh, okay. Third exit isn't always right. Okay. And so... On the basic roundabouts, it, it is most of the time, yeah. Mm -hmm. But you can get roundabouts with like six exits. Okay. Yeah. So to confirm, I did fail then. <laughs> <laughs> the, there was a sight hoping me that I did pass, but. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, okay, I thought it was going to be obvious, but oh. let me tell you how many serious faults you had. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, the thirteen or fourteen series faults there. Oh, wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Sorry, you know. So you know when you when you ask, did, did, did I pass? <laughs> I, I thought that was obvious. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, so overall, was my driving that bad? It it was. Uh, the the main issue was on roundabouts. Oh, okay. Yeah, the main issues on, on roundabouts, obviously the stalling didn't help a couple of times. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But when you're looking out for the signs, you're lane discipline, yeah. So the key thing is, remember, if you go the wrong way, yeah. like you've seen my videos, always mm -hmm. say, if you go the wrong way, it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Be safe. Yeah. But you were doing like, uh, once on the roundabout, we were in the middle lane and you were asking me which way is Dudley. I didn't want to say anything, just wanted oh. to be safe and, and go the yeah. So that middle lane mm. takes us straight. Yeah. But then it's, you asked me again, so I said, yeah, it was right. And okay. then what did you do straight away? Boom. Over to the right hand lane. Yeah. Yeah. If yeah. you're in the wrong lane, go the wrong way. Oh, okay. But you were just like cutting across from this lane at one point, you know, when you finally signed to Dudley, you're like, oh, I've seen the sign to Dudley. I was thinking, okay, good. But then you're in the wrong lane. That uh, lane went left only. Yeah, that was a left lane. Yeah, I see. Exactly. Yeah. And then, what should you have done from that lane? That goes left only. You should, you should have, gone have left. carried on, yeah. But what did you do? From this one, you cut across another two lanes. Oh, my God. Do you understand? Yeah, I don't think I even realised. I thought, uh, yeah, oh, yeah. Some, yeah, that's... Does that makes sense, yeah? Yeah. Good. So, that was one of your main issues, just going from one lane to do that without even... Like yeah. in, on, on none of the occasions was there a vehicle there, but that doesn't matter. If there was a vehicle, they obviously would have grabbed the steering. Yeah. But maybe you you might not have done it because you were checking your mirrors regularly. Yeah, but yeah. that's not the point. Yeah. You're, you're showing us that you're you're telling us or if, uh, me or if it was the examiner that I think it's okay to use any lane on the approach and go anyway. No, when no, it's, it's not. It's not okay. exactly. Yeah. You got the knowledge there, but you were doing it though. Oh, you understand? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good. Right. So um, at the start. Yeah. When we just left that road, mm -hmm. yeah, you turn left. You notice that I think it was a red car coming first, but then there's a white car coming. You saw it, yeah. Yeah. Remember, it's even if it seems far away, assess the speed and distance, uh, the speed of it, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you turn left. It was a narrow road. Obviously, you were focusing on your positioning. You turned, and then by that time you turned, do you think that white car had to brake for you? The first. Uh, that, uh, as soon as you the first, the, oh yeah, I remember. I thought it didn't. I thought I had enough time. Usually, yeah. I would wait. Yeah, you should have. The thing is, it, you know, if you enter a road and you make another vehicle slow down, that's yeah, a serious yeah, so, yeah, it wasn't that's drastic that. as if he had to like whack on his brakes or anything. Yeah, but yeah. he did have to slow down. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. So um, that was a serious fault to start off. Then at the lights, 
when I asked you to stop, yeah. you were about to go. Yeah, I remember. Okay, I thought I had was you know when you, it's too late to not like turn back and when then you have. To, even when we was, stopped, we still had that much space from the actual okay. stop line. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Remember, when amber. What does an amber light mean? A steady amber light mean? I mean you have to be ready to stop. Baby. It means stop if it's safe to do so. Yeah. And I thought, in my judgment, it wasn't. I just tried to go, but it wasn't. So, yeah. yeah, I remember. And, and then again, at the two roundabouts I made you do, when I should turn left, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you were. Uh, I did say we're turning left, yeah. Good that you didn't just panic and quickly get into the left lane, yeah. But then you were in the lane that went straight ahead, and you used the wrong lane to turn left there. Oh. Yeah. That was the, uh, the first roundabout. Oh, uh, maybe uh, my lane. Into. Yeah, maybe I wasn't. Maybe I wasn't yeah. aware because I thought when you're turning on the roundabout, you can use the, the front because you're turning right. But maybe because yeah. Okay, and then then you had a lot of falls together. Just on you know what I made you follow signs, Dudley. Those roundabouts. Yeah. We just use it going from this lane to that lane, from that lane to this lane. Oh no. Yeah, and then um, uh, a couple of times you left your signal on as well. Oh yeah, yeah, I do remember that. Yeah, yeah I think that's another um, getting used to the. Thing. Okay, and then uh, obviously stalling, which you noticed. Yeah. The bay parking could be uh, my wording as well, but I just assumed because you've done that manoeuvre before, yeah, I, I thought you would have known this that you know when you turn, when the exam asks you to park into a bay, when I asks you to park into the bay, yeah. it's got to be the first set of bays. You can't just go over the centre white line and use the next one like you did. Oh, okay, it's so the first set of bay. <laughs> yeah, so you know when you turned right into the bay, yeah, and then there's that centre line dividing the bay, you went into the Next set over the line, you're supposed to stop before the line. Oh, 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 the first, oh, yeah, the first one, yes. yeah. But then at the end here, yeah, yeah, so when we drove into here, yeah, I should turn right, yeah, yeah, it's the end of the road. Mm -hmm. Do you check that side at all? I, no, I didn't. No, when I was turning, yeah, yeah, you should you turn right, yeah, you but should be yeah. meant to check, aren't you? Yeah, I didn't check that part, did you I didn't did check for any cars. I know it's an industrial estate factories are not there because there, there could be vehicles yeah sure okay so yeah. there was another serious yeah. fault at the end there um, so um you told me when i pick you from the t train station your test is um a few months away still yeah yeah which is good yeah we'll continue with your lessons uh -huh. yeah you need to sort out these roundabouts uh -huh. that's one of your main things really okay, okay so but like your clearance and all that was good okay crossroads were we're okay as well. Yeah. Yeah. You know so, where to give way to oncoming traffic. Oh yeah. Okay, yeah. so the way your mirrors in general were good. When you did miss any observation, you're like, oh damn, I've missed my obs observation there. So Yeah. Overall not bad, but like I said, all your mistakes came when I should start following the signs and then on roundabouts. Oh okay. So when approaching a roundabout and when turning right, is it imperative to be in the right hand lane? When turning right, yes. Yeah. Unless okay. road marking tells you, but yeah, for a right turn, it's it's normally the right hand lane. Oh, because yeah. basically, I was in the wrong. I was in the left. That's where I messed up because I was in the yeah. left. And then, and then, oh. you you gotta understand that you know if we ask you to go, um, if you ask you to take the third exit, mm -hmm. it's not always right. Oh, yeah. Okay. okay, but that was the whole point of the mock test to find out your major weakness and so you can go back and improve that, yeah? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Manel, any questions? No, thank you very much for your time. Thank, thank you, you very so much for letting me do the mock test in your no problem. Really nice meeting you. Thank you very much for coming down. Okay, and guys, like always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. And follow my um TikTok Manel Bailey. Yep, Instagram. obviously your um your socials will be um, added to the video, yeah. Thank you Thanks a lot, guys. Much.